Hi everyone, this is Jackie Cooper with Crypto Mom 2 Talk Show and I want to welcome everyone to this episode and um, I have a really special guest on uh, that I will be introducing in a second. I have t- spoken with him many times and this is the uh, not the, um, the last episode that we're going to be doing so definitely like and subscribe so you know each time that Eric and I have a conversation about blockchain law and all the topics that we um, like to chat about. So for those of you that might be new to Crypto Mom 2, welcome. I want to share a little bit about myself and my background. I am an attorney, um, but I'm also an educator and I'm also a single mom, hence Crypto Mom 2. And I started the talk show a few years ago so that way I could journal my journey in the blockchain crypto world as well as help educate others. All these shows are not financial advice. They are educational. There is risk involved with everything that you do on the blockchain. So you need to invest at your own risk and you need to um, chat with your own advisors, whether it's CPAs, attorneys, or whoever you get advice from. So with that, I am going to hop right over to Eric because um, he and I have had many conversations about legislation, about what's going on in the world of blockchain, the creativity and the ongoing evolution of it. So Eric, how are you doing today? I'm well, Jackie. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I see. I see you. Um, I know you're going to introduce yourself in a second more fully, but I see you're wearing a T-shirt and it says "Blockchain or Die," and I love that. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and explain why are you wearing that swag? <laughs> well, thanks, Jackie. So uh, hello to all the listeners for Crypto Mom Two. I am Eric Guthrie. Uh, I'm a, I have many hats in the blockchain space. I am the author of the book, Blockchain or Die, winner of three book awards and an Amazon number one bestseller three times. Uh, so I'm very proud of that. And I thank, for, thank you all for the listeners that have brought the book. Um, I am an attorney in the Cogent Law Group. I'm a partner in the Cogent Law Group, which has a very thriving thin tech practice. And I am a uh, director of training for the Government Blockchain Association. So I design and deliver most of the trainings for, for GBA, we, we call it GBA for short. And that's just the, not just domestically, but also globally. So we have virtual trainings, we have in-person trainings, uh, we have conferences. We just had a great conference in January, the future of money governance and the law, which is available on YouTube. Our next conference is in May, which is about uh, blockchain sustainability. Uh, so we do a number of different events, uh, three or four times a year. And uh, also I am a GBA a trainer. I not only design and training programs, I also train them as well. So I, I've trained in many countries, many states and now virtually. So uh, if you wanna learn more about my training programs, which we'll talk about later on in the show, uh, you visit my Facebook page at Blockchain or Die on Facebook, and you'll get all the information about any new trainings that are coming up, especially the one on March 19th. But I'll, I'll yeah. let Jackie get to that. Yeah. So for those that are listening, um, you know, on the talk show side, you can should definitely hop over to my YouTube so you can see more about what we're talking about. I, for those that don't have paper and pen, I will definitely put all the links in the blog below so that way you can click on through. And the other thing I just want to mention for those um, that are listening, um, we are going to be talking about a an event that's happening in March. However, Eric is, uh, as you mentioned, he's a trainer that he does a lot of different programs throughout the year. So if you are listening before March, great, you can hop on and take this training in March, and I'll be showing the screen in a second more about it. But if you find this um, broadcast after March, definitely go into the Facebook page and click, you know, or contact me or Eric, because events are happening all the time. And the other thing that we want to mention is that by letting Eric know that you heard it about on the show, you actually get a Crypto Mom 2 discount. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to pull up the um, the sharing of the event. Um, so Eric, why don't you 
explain a little bit more about um, what we see on the screen. And um, let's chat about what's about to happen on March 18th, which is really just around the corner. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Jackie. So uh, this course is Blockchain Foundations. And in this course, uh, I go through a full day of just basically blockchain fundamentals. Uh, how was blockchain technology created? Uh, how long it's been around? The answer would surprise you. Uh, we talk about uh, the creation of Bitcoin, the creation of Ethereum. We talk about you know, how to identify um, a, a good cryptocurrency versus the bad cryptocurrency. We talk about business cases. We talk about industries that are using cryptos and blockchains. And at the end of the day, we get to some of the more deeper uh, blockchain conversations as in regulations uh, and legislation. And we get to more involved use cases. So it's a, it's a gradual progression. We start off with the, the history and the fundamentals. And by the end of the day, we're, we're actually deep into some current events and some current laws and some current uses. So it's a jam-packed day, but a lot of folks learn a whole lot in that day. And that, that course, Blockchain Foundations, is the, the prerequisite for two more courses, Blockchain Technical Consulting and Blockchain Executive Consulting, which are, are two more courses that you can take to become a certified blockchain consultant. So. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I love teaching this course. I love awakening minds of people that are really curious or they know a little bit, but they don't know as much as they want. So a lot of folks come to this course in, in different places in the blockchain journey. Uh, but, you know, they all uh, take away a whole lot from this course and they can use it however they like. So um, you have shared an awful lot here. I'm looking at the screen. You know, it's um, there's all these lessons that are listed, and um, there's it's all packed, like you said, in one day. Um, if someone you know wants to come to this one and then to the other ones, are there any discounts that might uh, be if you book you know more than one or um, obviously, the Crypto Mom 2 is a uh, definitely a discount. How do you normally package it, or, or are there packages? So, you, so great question. So usually, when people take the Blockchain Foundations course and they want to take the next course, usually that means they want to take all the courses. So, um, you know, I, I work with whomever I can to try and make it affordable for them. Um, the reason why I usually don't publicize the technical consulting and the executive consulting course right away is because usually I have folks that, uh, a, a whole class of foundations, folks that wanna go to the next level. So I work with them and their desire to go next steps with their schedule. So if I have 15 people taking the foundations course, usually about 10 of them wanna go further. So I rather than make an arbitrary date and say, this is the date we're going to the next course. I say, well, what date? Let's let's work together. What dates are best for all of us? And I try and work with them to pick a date that works well. And then the next course would be the technical consulting course, and the next course will be the executive consulting course. And uh, those are really important. I know, in 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 just kind of diving into the cryptos and blockchain space. Um, it's, you really need this information. So um, is this course designed for just lawyers or who uh, is it, who should take it? Who should, you know, maybe think about this? Any person that wants to learn anything about cryptos or blockchains should take this course. Now I do have a legal specialist course that's going to be happening on uh, March 25th. Uh, and what I recommend for the attorneys is to take this course first. So that way, when we go to the legal specialist course, you already have your foundations and you're not asking basic questions. So it's kind of like a prerequisite. Um, so that's really why I'm doing this course the week before I'm doing the legal course, because if you're an attorney and you want the legal course, which by the way, 
you get 7.5 MCLEs from the DC Bar Association. So it's good in 45 out of 50 states. So the chances are your state will accept the CLE credits from DC for the course that I'm teaching. So not only do you get the legal information, but you get your CLE credits for your year for your DC, for your bar accreditation. Uh, and that's a, that's a huge, huge win for, for me and my company because there are so, so few companies out there that have a bar accreditation associated with their blockchain course. And we're very proud to be one of the first ones to do it. Yeah, no, I agree with you. It's, it's critical when you're serving clients to um, have the right foundation and also to have the, um, the label that these, these were continuing legal education credits because a lot of times you have that need as well. So um, I know that you and I are going to be talking about a lot of technical topics. Uh, for those of you that are looking at the screen, you're going to see a QR code. And yes, it is about Bitcoin mining. So there's, you know, other topics that you'll see here, metaverse, NFTs, that type of thing. I know that Eric is developing a number of classes and courses that are um also critical if you are going to be in this space because um, I'm both an NFT artist, but I'm also a lawyer. And so there's a lot of overlap in terms of just, you know, information, um, protection, you know, there's anything that you touch has some law attached to it. So I would definitely say reach out to what, um, you know, to Eric's uh, email and websites see what courses he's doing because um, you need to stay in the loop. And it's really difficult sometimes when you're involved with a lot of different projects to stay on top of things. And so it's a lot easier to have a professional like Eric kind of give you the, the nutshell and give you um, the up-to-date trends. So anything else that you'd like to share? Well, so actually you, you said something that I was going to say, which is I'm designing an NFT course. I know. <laughs> and, and the reason why I'm, and this is this is the first time I'm announcing it publicly. So I'm announcing it publicly on the Crypto Mom 2 talk show. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm doing it is because everyone's asking for it. Yes. They're saying, well, what about NFTs? What about NFTs? Now, people don't really realize or understand the breadth of what an NFT really is. They think yeah. either art or gaming. Yeah. But it's so much more than that. Definitely so much more. And people don't understand what it really means, what a non-fungible token means. So I'm designing a course right now, which has a legal component. Because surprisingly, in the art and the gaming space, you know, uh, trademark, you know, and, and other, other uh, contractual agreements come into play. Yeah. Right now, Jay-Z is in litigation with uh, one of his uh, uh, business partners about NFTs. Now the case has been litigated and we're waiting on the decision, but how cool is that? To have probably one of, if not the most influential hip hop or even crossover artists to create one of the first legal precedents in the NFT space. Yeah. Right, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, and, and like you said, there's so many applications to NFTs because uh, businesses are using NFTs both from a privacy perspective and a you know a branding perspective. I mean, there's um, you know it's there's it's it's a technical tool that artists discovered but can be used in a digital way that um, I think that in five years we're gonna just you know be so amazed at the versatility of it. Absolutely. But, Absolutely. but like you said, all that covers, uh, there's a built-in contract that can be placed in there, you know, because it's agreement between one person and another. And if you don't put the technical terms in there, well, then, you know, again, you, you're going to, I know in your class, you're going to cover the ramifications of that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So um, everyone remember, um, Eric, do you want to mention again how they can reach out to you? Sure, you can find me on Facebook at Blockchain or Die, also Instagram at Blockchain or Die. Uh, you can visit blockchainordie.org. Again, that's blockchainordie.org. And you can find the book on Amazon. 
um, Blockchain or Die on Amazon, the ebook is only 99 cents. And the reason I do that is to make it affordable for the masses. I don't make any money off of it really, but it's about sharing knowledge and sharing wealth. And uh, that's what I encourage everybody in our communities to do is to, to even for you can go to Starbucks and pay $8 for a Frappuccino Mocha Chocolate, or you can buy eight books and keep one and give seven away to your friends so they can learn more about cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Um, that's what I encourage folks to do because this knowledge is meant to be shared. You know, it was not meant to be profited off of, it's meant to be shared and create a better world. That's what I'm trying to do by selling it for 99 cents. I totally agree. I want to thank everyone who's listening. Definitely like and subscribe because by subscribing, you'll know when the next time I speak with Eric and everyone else who um, I'm interviewing from around the world. And so Eric, thank you so much for being on. I look forward to both attending your class as well as speaking with you again on a lot of the topics that we both love to chat about. So everyone remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. We're all one world and we're all interconnected. Have a great day. Thanks, Jackie.